We all have heard about the world-famous Sicilian Mafia as well as the Italian-American Mafia that originated from them. Even though they keep a low profile, they still exist if we compare them with gangsters in the 20th century. You might think that they are some kind of ruthless criminals who have no moral ground or no rules at all. However, you might be surprised. So while they disobey the laws of the government, the Mafia has its own strict codes of conduct and rule, and all members are expected to follow them, no questions asked. So what are these crazy rules? Find out by watching this video. Welcome back to the channel. Our videos are guaranteed to keep you coming back for amazing content. So let's start with today's video. Number 10. Let's start off with the Commission as the organization in Mafia who started it all. The Commission was established back in the year 1931 by Charles Lucky Luciano to stop the war among the families and it consisted of the Board of Directors or the Bosses of five New York families, Chicago Outfit as well as the Buffalo family. And these all Mafia-related businesses and actions had to be approved by the Commission, which oversees all activities. So this way they stopped wars between them and brought some order to disorganized gangs. But on the other hand, the deportation of Lucky Luciano back to Italy disrupted the demand for a short time. So there were some feuds, but the commission maintained its leading function. Number 9. The initiation ritual was created in Sicily in early 1890, as this was the way for Mafia bosses to protect them. So the new member must cut his hand, drip some blood on the saint's picture, and light the image. Thus, he pledges his loyalty to the Mafia over the burning saint. All the main Mafia associates are present during the ritual and the new member is accepted. This means that the member will be held responsible for his brothers and shield them. So, he'll put the organization above his own family to be protected and cared for in return. Number 8. A feud or a retaliation known as vendetta is a long-term fight between families. And, sometimes, crime families cannot easily overcome issues, so they must retaliate. But at the same time, if the vendetta is towards the other Mafia families, it can quickly turn into a war, just like in Mafia-inspired movies. But the Commission approves some retaliation, also they frequently do without starting a conflict. Moreover, there is one more retaliation towards the Pentiti, and this one's punishment is death. Also, the Pentiti is a former Mafia member who cooperates with the public prosecutor to get a reduced sentence by testifying against his former family members. Even though the snitch goes under witness protection, the organization puts extreme effort into tracking him down and killing him. Number 7. The Mafia organization is usually consisting of families which are represented by group members, usually not blood-related, who have their territory. The Cosa Nostra has several families involved, yet all of them are under the reign of the boss of bosses known as the Capo di Tutti Capi. Moreover, the Cosa Nostra has strict rules regarding hierarchy within the families, making sure that there are no feuds among themselves. The family is run by the boss, which they refer to as the Capo Familia or the Representante. The boss has his underboss, who is called the Capo Bastone or Sotto Capo, and is second in command. So, the underboss supervises its advisors or consiglieri, who are in charge of his soldiers known as Soldati, Oprai or Picciotti. Also, at the organization's bottom are associated or foot soldiers who actually do the work, so they are assassins, enforcers, bodyguards, money makers, and everything else. Number 6. Introductions keep the organization safe from imposters. One Mafia member can only approach another Mafia member and introduce himself. Also, he must find a third member whom both know to make the connection. And this way, the third person vouches that they are loyal members and not some imposters, for instance, federal agents. So we can see that the Cosa Nostra Mafia is quite careful about their members' safety and who they accept among them. And all of these strict rules of conduct make sure that everything stays in the family, as they call themselves. Number 5. The Code of Silence or Code of Honor is one of the highest regulations among Cosa Nostra's members and the legendary Omerta has found its place among many criminal organizations. This code of silence obliges all members not to cooperate with the authorities, as nobody likes the snitches and rats. This code is known to be so strict that one who faces the charges cannot even defend himself, implying that someone else has done the crime, like a bank robbery. And so he must accept his punishment and even serve time if needed. Also, the silence code has deep roots in Sicily and goes back to the 16th century but the Sicilian Mafia has elevated them by adding a death punishment for those who break it. Number 4. 
The next rule applies to the connection with the police. You might have heard the phrase, never be seen with cops in movies. This one goes perfectly with the Omerta Mafia, as no Cosa Nostra member wishes to be taken as a snitch. No doubt they can be seen with a cop if they have proof that he is corrupted. This rule is pretty strict and understandably so, as it genuinely describes the attitude towards the police. Now, we're not sure how this rule was followed in the letter. No Cosa Nostra might have relatives in the police and two-timing relatives or even family that does not hold to moral values. This is difficult to follow, as you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Number 3. A new future member must complete a series of tasks before he is welcomed to the family. First of all, the participant must have Italian ancestors. In the beginning, only those participants whose parents have Sicilian ancestors were accepted. Later on, that rule switched to Italian parents, so now a future member has to have a father with Italian roots. But he also has to pass a series of tests such as loyalty, obedience, courage, nobility, discretion, brutality, dignity, bravery, intelligence, and much more. And then the ultimate test is murder. After the potential member is accepted as a full member, the only way out for him is death. Number 2. The line, don't go to pubs and clubs. This one is hard to believe that they obey. This one almost sounds noble so as not to be rude, as a third party must always introduce a new member to one of our friends. However, Rule 4 has a few versions, so one is about respecting the boss or superior, and the other is that fights among members are forbidden. This rule is also a lesson regarding respect and good manners. Appointments must absolutely be respected. Sounds quite logical, as it is disrespectful for the other parties if you are late, and that's basically considered a sign of weakness. Another rule states, when asked for information from the boss, tell the truth. Trust is everything. And also, another rule states, money cannot be appropriated if it belongs to another member of La Cosa Nostra, or even to his family. This rule sounds normal, as this is said to be disrespecting, so it would surely bring disorder to the organization. Number 1. The Cosa Nostra has 10 strict rules which every member is expected to obey. They are further separated into three categories. The first category concerns the wives in some matters. The second part of the rule is to never look at friends' wives. Now, this one is very obvious and could be applied to everyone outside the Mafia as the world would be much more honorable. But if you are a Cosa Nostra member, the injured party or your friend can fight back as he wishes. So messing with another man's wife is considered a big no-no. The third part of the rule is to respect wives. This one could also be much appreciated. It's said that the Mafia members should always be available for the Cosa Nostra, even if your wife is giving birth. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be always updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.